Hey everyone, welcome to your singles reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. This is going to be what's coming towards you for all my singles. I'm going to pull a card of timing. We're going to see who this partner is. Always take what resonates and always watch your Rising, Moon, and Venus sign placement too. Especially your Venus when it comes to love. It's not always going to be, you know, completely resonate. I do offer a singles reading over in my Etsy shop. I offer a variety of readings. So at any point you feel like you want to know when it's coming towards you, um, you know, just head over there. I don't know if I just did this. I feel like I just did. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see. For my Leos, what is coming towards them? We're going to do past, present. Past energy. Present energy. And future energy. Look at this. There's definitely a connection coming in, guys. You could be like on a mountain trip when you meet this person. There's a log cabin back there by a lake, maybe hiking, camping. But it's it's a, like a soulmate connection with the Two of Cups, past energy. You could have in the past dealt with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. In the past, I feel like you've had a brand new beginning. You might have just had one recently with someone. You might have currently just started dating someone. And if it's an earth sign, I feel like it's going to be an offer that you can grow with. Current energy could be a Libra. They might have um, earth in their chart. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air. But this is divine feminine energy. So I feel like the person coming towards you is definitely going to have, you know, a glow about them. They can take care of themselves. They make their own happiness. They could have red hair. You could meet them and in the very near future end up having a baby for fertility. This is definitely a card of fertility, but I feel like you might have just started a connection with this person. And for some of you, you might be smitten with this divine feminine here. It's like they have such a glow about them. It's like your eyes are just drawn to them. If they're not in your life now, they're going to be entering your life. And in the future, it's... At first, you might hold back a little bit just because of other connections you've been in. You might feel a little bit, you know, too good to be true. And you hold back. This could be the two of you coming together and saving. Um, so you have more to grow on. Material attachment. But more earth energy. For some of you, you might meet this person at work with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Coins in the past. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I feel like you manifested this. Four of Cups. It's You were bored with the offers that have been coming your way. Nothing was really catching your interest. You've manifested this connection coming in, this divine feminine, divine um, counterpart coming towards you, divine feminine, divine masculine. But it's like you were bored with the offers. Nothing was catching your interest. Um, you just, you weren't interested. You didn't want to have like a second date or a third date. 
you know, you went on a date and you, the person's talking and you're like, why am I here? You know, you know, it's just, it was always like a constant waste of time. But in your thoughts and your, your emotions, what you put out there to the universe is now coming towards you. Action is taking place. And look, there's that Ace of Pentacles. There is that offer, that brand new opportunity coming in. Why is the Empress here in the present? Okay. See? Desires coming in. Right here. Desires coming in. Um, wishes being granted. After the pain. After the heartbreak that you've had to endure. There's going to be growth with this person. I was just caught by their eyes. This person has really blue eyes. This person coming into your life could have really blue eyes that it's very like, it just, you're drawn to their eyes. And look, Belle, I mean, the Empress, Belle, the Empress, twice. So your divine counterpart is coming towards you. And please clarify the Four of Queens. Three of Pentacles. For some of you, you really might meet them at your place of employment. But this is coming together, working on finances, working on stability, being a team. What other messages do you have for my Leo single spirit? I feel like it's coming in quick too. And with the seven of wands, it's they're gonna to want to put the effort into this. They're wanna gonna put they want to put the fight into um, what they feel is important, what they feel is worth the effort, and it's coming in quick. At the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords, more air energy. So for some of you, it's gonna be an earth sign, others could be an air sign. For some of you, you could be meeting this person through work. Doesn't have to be a coworker. Could be somebody like walking into your place of employment, or like on a for those of you in corporate, like on a Zoom meeting, and they're one of the people that have to show up in the meeting. It's going to be different for each one of you, but the, it's the mental stability of knowing what they want, and I feel they're coming in very independent. All right, spirit. What else can you bring towards? My Leo singles. I'm sorry for the noise. My um, other half is we have wood, you know, hardwood floors, and he's working on them now. You know, right when I said I was going to do a reading. But I better just count my blessings. Look at that. For some of you, it's going to lead to a higher level of commitment. for my Leo single spirit. Yeah, see, with the Grim Reaper, it's like you're leaving the past in the past. You've decided no second choices for anybody that's been in your past. Anybody that's caused you that pain, you're not going to allow them to have that second chance or hold that energy in your life. You've grown from your, you know, your pain. You've closed out those cycles. And you're ready to move on. Look at this, guys. You seeing this? For some of you, this is going to be your person. This union. You could be meeting them at a, a wedding. Or for some of you, it's going to be your end-all, be-all. This person coming in. this reading soulmate connection you could have a dog already 
and you guys are walking like towards the beach with your dog could be by the mountains like I said but it's the higher level of commitment it's that soulmate connection if you've been thinking about a specific person like if you're dating and you have a few people that you are talking to and you the answer is yes if you were thinking about someone specifically Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Leo, something huge is happening for my singles. Now, again, it's not going to be for each and every one of you, depending on where you are at on your path. If you're completely negative and none of these readings ever are for me, then no, it's not going to just be handed to you. It's like you got to meet the universe halfway. Raise your vibration. Raise your energy. Attitude is gratitude to bring this connection in. But this soulmate, possibly twin flame connection, is happening. And spirits on point. We've got wedding rings. We've got engagement ring. Divine masculine. Divine feminine. And this is what you're walking away from. You're done playing games. No more runner and chaser bullshit. For some of you, you could have went through rejection. They might not have been... Um, they might not have appreciated the person that you were to them. Their loss. Right. They might have been more in their ego. More about themselves. All right, spirit. Part of timing for when my Leo singles are meeting this connection. When my Leo singles are meeting this connection. In September. So it could very well be this September. It's at the bottom of the deck. In January. So I'm going to say between... September and January. It's not going to be in September for each and every single Leo in this world. In this universe. But between September and January. Alright guys. I wish you the best of luck in this connection. Let me know how it resonates. And I will be back for many more readings. Have a great weekend.